Hello everyone, hope you're all fine. First, I would like to thank you for the success of my last tutorial. 200,000 views in two weeks is a lot for my channel, so thanks again for your support. If you're looking for the main tutorial, the link will be in the top right corner and in the description. I had so many questions concerning my last car animation that I have decided to create a video to address the most common issues you're facing when creating the animation. Number one, I can't see the rigor car add-on. Well, there are two main reasons for that. Reason number one, you didn't install the add-on. And to do so, you go on digicreators.net, you click on rigocar.zip, you download the rigor car version 7, and you install the add-on on Blender. So as usual, it's edit, preferences, install, you look for the file of your add-on, you click on install add-on. And if needed, you check the box to activate the add-on. Reason number two, to see the add-on on the right panel, you have to click N, and first you have to click on the rig. Then only you will see the rig car add-on. Otherwise, if you don't have the rig selected, it won't be visible. Number two, no steering or wheels animation. The common reason for that is you might have used object constraint properties instead of bone constraint properties to attach the car to your path. As a reminder, the correct process is you click on the rig, you go in pose mode, then you go in bone constraint properties. So it's the blue bone, bone constraint properties, and you click add bone constraint, follow path, and you select your path. Number three, the car is deforming when moving the path. Okay, so you are happy with the length of your path, but when you try to add some curves, you have those weird deformations happening. To fix that, you go back in object mode, you click on your path, you click on object, and then you go on apply and all transform. Or you can press Ctrl A and apply all transforms. And now if I go back in edit mode, so tab, and I try to add a curve, now it's working fine. Number four, I don't see the keyframes on the timeline. You might have selected the wrong object. To see an object keyframes, you have to select it first. And for the rig, you have to be in pause mode to see all the keyframes. For example, if I click on the car, I don't see any keyframes, but it's the same if I click on the rig. In order to see the rig keyframes, I have to go in pause mode. So I click on the rig and you go in pause mode. Then if I click, for example, on the blue rig, I will see the blue rig keyframes. And if I click on this control, then I will see its keyframes. If I go back in object mode, then if I click on the rig, you will see the keyframes of the last control selected within the rig. Number five, I got weird messages when trying to insert keyframes. To insert keyframes, first in keying, set the active keying set to location, rotation and scale. Then for the camera position, for example, you don't have to be on the timeline. Just position your cursor on the 3D viewport and press I. Number six, my wheels rotation are slow. If you didn't touch anything on the Rigo car add-on, that should not be the case. In material preview mode, the wheels rotation can look a little bit slow, but after rendering, it will be just fine. And that's it, today was a quick video, but I hope it helps some of you. And don't worry, I will post a new video that you will love this week. And if you still have issues, feel free to post them in the comment section. Talk to you soon, bye bye.